IAR93 Venture represents a collaborative effort between Yugoslavia and Romania in the 1970s to develop a domestically produced aircraft for close air support, ground attack, tactical reconnaissance, and low-level interception roles. The project aim to reduce dependency on Soviet equipment and establish indigenous defense capabilities. However, despite its ambitious goals and potential, the aircraft faced numerous challenges and limitations throughout its operational history. One of the primary objectives in designing the IAR-93 was to create a cost-effective platform that could be built using local produced components while maintaining compatibility with Western Avionics. This approach aimed to facilitate easier maintenance and improve reliability, essential factors for ground attack aircraft intended for record operational environments. The aircraft's design follow a conventional twin-engine, high-mounted wing monoplane configuration with square flying surfaces. Its armament capabilities were diverse, allowing it to carry and release various guided and unguided munitions, including missiles, rockets, and bombs from five hardpoints. The IAR-93 underwent several iterations with the major variants being the IAR-93A, IAR-93MB, and IAR-93B. Each variant introduced improvements in engine performance, aerodynamics, and overall design refinement. Notably, the IAR-93B featured upgraded engines and revised wing design for enhanced performance and maneuverability. In terms of specifications, the IAR-93B boasted impressive performance metrics including a maximum speed of 680 miles per hour, a range of 825 miles, and a service ceiling of 44,600 feet. These figures position it as a capable combat aircraft suitable for a variety of missions. Despite its promising capabilities on paper, the IAR-93's operational history was marred by several setbacks, including mechanical failures and pilot error, leading to at least nine documented losses. Additionally, the aircraft never saw combat, limiting its opportunity to demonstrate its effectiveness in real-world scenarios. Ultimately, the IAR-93's legacy is one marked by mixed success. While it represented a significant achievement in domestic aircraft production for both Yugoslavia and Romania, its operational shortcomings and limited combat experience highlight the challenges inherent in developing and fielding advanced military aircraft. Despite its flaws, the IAR-93 remains an important chapter in the history of aerospace engineering and defense cooperation in the region.